when I used to work behind the little literature counter in the hall, mm-hmm. and there was a he was a he was one of my dad's friends. He was like a football guy, he was a weightlifter guy, and his name was Juice. This is his nickname. His real name was John, but everybody called him Juice. Was, you could tell like before he became religious, he was a street nigga. And like him and my dad were real close, and I used to work behind the counter with him. And one day I walked behind there. I used to on Saturdays. I used to come back to my free time and like help him organize things for Sunday. And I remember he, he took one look at me walking towards him. I, was, I remember I could see as clear as day. I wasn't anywhere near him. I was walking down the aisle. That's supposed to be. And I was like, hey, what the f- What? No, what are you talking about? He was like, he kept looking at me the whole day. He was like, uh-huh. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm not knowing full and damn well like I had been. It's a critical James Theory, Just so look at the critical James Theory, I didn't even. I don't even care. Um, but did you know that now? Um, you're, that, oh yeah, you're allowed to have them. Allowed to have beards. <laughs> and my mom tried to say it on the sly. She tried to say like, "Oh, you're still getting used to the brothers wearing their beards," <laughs> and like, and and she thought I was gonna provoke an ongoing like a further conversation. Like, oh, you can wear beards now. I guess I'll come back. It's like, right that's now. not the. That no. was the catalyst. No. Yeah. But it's not the. Yeah. It's not. It's not why I'm yeah. not there now. Like. It started by yeah. change. They change rules and everything. Yeah, Come on now. but no, there was a um, there was a uh, moment when I was younger. We were talking about uh, that moment when somebody knows you fucking like <laughs> your parents noticed. No, I don't okay. know if my I don't know if my dad noticed. It didn't say anything. I'm sure he did, man. but he didn't say anything. I think he thought he. I think my dad thought I was doing it earlier than what I actually was. Cause he, I remember him having that talk with me. He was oh, like, "Oh, okay. I know you going." He was kind of saying, "Like, I know this is going to happen. So here's the, th- here's the tools you need to not bring kids home." <laughs> but like, when I used to work behind the little literature counter in the hall, mm-hmm. and there was a, he was a, he was one of my dad's friends. He was like a football guy, he was a weightlifter guy, and his name was Juice. This is his nickname. <laughs> his real name was John, uh-huh. but we, everybody called him Juice. But he was, a, you could tell like before he became religious, he was a street nigga. And like him and my dad were real close, and I used to work behind the counter with him. And one day I walked behind there. I used to on Saturdays. I used to come back there in my free time and like help him organize things for Sunday. Mm-hmm. And I remember he, he took one look at me walking towards him. I was I remember I could see as clear as day. I wasn't anywhere near him. I was walking down the aisle. You got some pussy, didn't you? And I was like, hey, what the f- what? <laughs> no, what are you talking about? He was like, he kept looking at me the whole day. He was like, uh huh. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm not knowing full and damn well like I had been. He was just Another like, witness said this to you. Yeah. Because, you know, before that, you, you know, mm-hmm. you spent 30, 40 years as a street guy. Okay. And then, yeah. you know, your 40s, you become a witness. Like, you can't just erase that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like. Can't quite shake it. <laughs> you, uh. He knew. You, uh. You fucking hot. You got some pussy. And I was like. What are you? Whatever but, are you talking but, about? But he, but he, he always talked like that, so it didn't. No, it didn't exactly mean. shock you. Yeah, but yeah, but that, it's so just he funny. knew. Yeah, and I can see it. I can see it in our cousin. Like, yeah. So if your dad had that talk with you before he said that, then your dad knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let me just put this a little closer. If you're gonna sit back like that, let me okay. just have it yeah. closer to you. Um, I've been. Uh, it's hard to sit up. It's hard. I know it is. I know. <laughs> Trying to lean back because you got yeah. some pussy. You cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, uh, it's another episode of uh, Critical James Theory. That's the name of the show. I don't even know if I said that. I like the name of that show. I did. It's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash Critical James Theory. Please, please help. Um, if <laughs> The voice that uh, and the face that you've been seeing before uh, I get to this introduction is someone that some of you might be very familiar with. Um, <laughs> I, I do my introduction. Um, is uh, quietly, quietly one of the more successful YouTubers, which I was, I don't keep because he's, you know, I don't keep up because I'm just like, you know, I know him, so it's like, you know, it's just like but when you look it's back, you're wrong. like, oh shit, like you, <laughs> you doing shit, you got numbers. Um, reactor extraordinaire, <laughs> uh, semi pro conspiracy theorist. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, S tier family member. S tier. Uh, uh, my actual cousin. Yes. Stone Cold Roan Magnus. <laughs> Tyrone Magnus. Everybody. 
Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Do you know how hard it was for me not to say your government last <laughs> Well, I'm glad you didn't. Everybody can, they know it anyway. Yeah, Man. yeah. I mean, you've been on the internet for so long. They, yeah. Everybody knows everybody knows everything about everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Man, hey, thanks for coming out, dude. Yeah, no problem. No problem. <laughs> Should I look at the camera? You can look Should at I the camera. You can look at me. Okay. You can, you know, you can right. talk to me. I mean, that's never probably... been on a podcast. This is my first podcast before. This is your camera. So okay, if yeah, you yeah. do want to look at it at some, any point, that'd be where you would. Okay. But you can talk to me. That's this fine. is my first. So yeah, yeah you just it's natural if you just we'll, talk. We'll to figure me. it out. We'll figure a flow out. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I didn't even prep you for like what I usually do on the show because it's just like I'm just gonna be talking. Nope. We're used to talking to each other, but we haven't seen this each is other. How it is when you're dealing with us. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> all the other comedians before. I gave him like a prep. I was like, this is the run of the show. This is, you know, <laughs> yep, the, fir- the first half, we're going to learn more about yep. you. Uh, we're going to learn how you started in comedy. And then the second half, we're going to talk about. But I got to know, like, we have a. Gave everybody else the white man. I did. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> Tyra, and all the other comedians I've had on have been black, too. So it's like, it's not like I've been giving white people to be like, prepare for it. But no, we do. It's, it's, it, this is, this is it. It's just talking. Like, I know people. A lot of the times they know Tyrone Magnus. They know the, you know, one million subscribers. Yeah. They know that guy, but they don't know. They don't know what I know. Right, uh, right, right. And they might not after this. I don't no, know. No, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't know me, no. They don't know you, know you. Yeah. But, like, I've known you my entire life. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That may not have been aware of you, but yes. I've known you my entire life. I um, used to run around the house in little pound puppy slippers. Who, me? <laughs> Did I? <laughs> I he he doesn't remember his pound remember puppy that. slippers. Yep. I don't, I don't remember. I remember being into pound puppies. Yep. Yeah. Pound I remember puppy I had a little slippers. gray one. Yep. But I don't remember having slippers. Yeah. Really? They were brown. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that, man. Because you wore them almost every time we came to your house to visit. <laughs> I was trying to show them off, man. I was trying to swag them out, you know? So he had this Pennzoil truck. Yeah. That he used to play with. Yep. It was yellow. It was Hulk Hogan colors. It was yellow and red. Yep. 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh damn! See, see? That's I unlocked. I remember memories. all that. Yeah. Good lord! I thought about that. Yeah, Flashback. I'm gonna cry by the end of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yeah. I haven't thought about that in a while. I do remember. I remember um, because my mom and, and Aunt Willie were very clear. I say, "Is that okay for me to say?" Oh yeah, okay. yeah, they're close. I didn't say the name. Can I say? Uh, I'll bleep. Yeah. I'll bleep it out. Okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, like uh, we were very. Uh, they were very close. Yeah. And, yeah. like, I didn't realize it at the time. I was just like, oh, we're just going over. No. Oh, yeah, I didn't even know either until years <laughs> later she told me. She was like, yeah, I'm closest to her because I raised her. Yeah. She was like, my mom was pregnant with was Zanny when she was. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she was just like, I, I basically raised Michelle. So Michelle was the closest to me. Yeah. yeah. I remember, I, I remember, like. <laughs> I remember I remember two things I remember three things well a lot of things but the things that stand out was I remember there was a there was a creepy dog collection that both both of our mothers had yeah they liked dolls did not yeah. like them yeah they didn't creep me out but creep I had a girlfriend that came by and she was scared of them I remember didn't like them yeah. um I do I do remember it only happened maybe once or twice I didn't really get like the full magnitude of it but I remember, I remember on Willie's chicken being really good. Yeah, I remember. That. <laughs> I remember that being she really. She did give me the recipe before she passed, so I do know. I'm gonna it. need that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> need that later. Just gonna make sure it's on, it's on camera. So, um, and I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember your house. I remember the, like walking up the stairs, mm-hmm. and I don't know. I think the bathroom was right there. Yeah, if you walked up, the bathroom was. Like once you got there, bathroom was to like to the right. And then your room was kind of like off like, to the yeah, entire minus room. to the left. Was... Yeah, yeah. Depending on how you, which rooms we were in at the time, I think yeah. she gave me her room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. No, I had the one on the left eventually. Yeah, that, that's the one I remember. Yeah, the left. That's the one I remember yeah. because like you were, you you were like of the age where it's like you know you didn't really want to hang out with the old fucking cousin. But you weren't mean about it. No. You no, were like, no. you were very like, uh, I could tell like, you know. you're just Yeah, like, I knew you were into video games. You had your Game yeah, Boy. You had your boy there. So you used to like to just watch me play. Yeah. And I was, was always gaming. You and your boys over. would be there. And I'd be, yeah. be kind of like, you'd just be in the background. 
Oh yeah. And I'd just be there. Yeah, you were well myself. behaved. I'd be like, thank you. I, I think I wasn't gonna be weird about it, but every once in a while I'd be like, What's what you cheat doing? And I'd go in there and I'd be like I'd last maybe like five minutes. I'd be like, I'm gonna go back at that road's room. <laughs> Eugene, me and my brother are different. Very, <laughs> very, very different. different. Very different. Very different. But I do remember Eugene gave uh, gave me my first uh, explicit tape. Really? No, not porn. Um, music. Oh, <laughs> music. I was okay. just saying that. Okay. Explicit okay. language, like rap. Okay. It was the first one he gave me. Like he didn't give it to me. Let me borrow it. Remember what it was? It was. Uh, I think it was. Uh, I think it was Biggie Smalls. Right? Okay. Die. Okay. And he, I think he, he let me borrow it. And I remember I, I made a copy of it. I dubbed the tape because I'm an, an artifact of a human. Yeah. Uh, we, <laughs> we couldn't just rip it. <laughs> right. The dub Which they tape. don't even do anymore. They, they just send you a anymore. file now. Yeah. You can just, yeah, stream the shit. Um, yeah, that was my, that was, I remember you, I don't remember your friend, but I remember specifically sitting in there. And you had like you're a, talking about James Boyd, white dude that would be in there gaming yeah, it was with me, Amy, anime dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. James I remember Boyd. you guys introduced me to anime. Yeah, it was a Street Fighter anime, and I remember it was a big. I, I remember. I don't remember. Like I remember you guys were so hype about uh, Chun Li like getting her titty scratched by Vega. <laughs> That's all I remember. Like she was in the shower, and he was sneaking in the room, and he was. They had well, a yeah, fight. they when they yeah they she got out the shower, they had a fight, and then he ended up yeah hitting her. <laughs> I think in it. I think he did, and yeah. no one got her face too. Yeah, that's what she I just beat. remember y'all being like real hype about it. And I was like, why are they so excited about this? And was yeah, like, Street like, Fighter Two oh, was at that time. I was living through the height of Street Fighter Two, mm -hmm. and the anime came out that movie, and it was just was off the chain. Yep. So, yep. Yeah, I was never good at fucking Street Fighter, but uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I was I was I was a Tekken kid. Okay, I was loved good at Tekken. Fighter. Just played through Tekken Eight story, loved it. Tekken, I'm yeah. telling you, it's like two and a half hours long, and it's crazy. Oh, okay. You it's see, nuts. It's insane. Seriously. People, you see people online talking about the story for tech. Play through that whole thing. It's insane. Because usually <laughs> when they say, like, you know, when fighting games have a storyline. Mm -hmm. Well, they all do. It's kind of weak. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah a lot of them are weak. Guys yeah. and but they've gotten to the point, if you, I went back and I played through all these different Mortal Kombat's, the stories have gotten elaborate. The stories are elaborate now. To connect one from seven okay. to eight to okay. the, uh, trust me. So go okay. back and try them out. Yeah. You're gonna be like, I'm playing the damn movie. I'm serious. <laughs> it's <laughs> I can't even. It's been so long since I actually because I used to stream on Twitch during the mm -hmm. pandemic, and then you know, comedy club started to open back up again, and I was like, well, goodbye. Okay. And, and um, but I, I can't remember the the last last game I played front to back was Red Dead Redemption. Two or one. Well, I played both of them, but the last oh, okay. one I played was the remake of the first one. Oh, they made a remake of the first yeah. one. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. So, like, I mean, it's the same graphics. It's not like it's similar. Yeah. Okay. It's like when they put out the remaster of the Grand Theft Auto. It's like it's the, so it looks it's, the same, but okay. it's newer. Gotcha. Um, I played through that because I didn't. I played through the second one first, and I never played that one. Well, I just played GTA Five. How'd you feel about it? Yeah, and I loved it. Oh, okay. Yes. I was gonna. I, yes. My guess was gonna be you would hate it. I was one of the people that when GTA first came out, first yeah. back in the day. Uh, everyone says that back in the day, early two thousands or whatever. It was like 99, um, I think. You know, it was on the news for being just by degenerate behavior. <laughs> well, you run around, you do hookers, you can rob people, kill people in the street, you steal cars. That's it. So I was just like, that's not me. Yeah. Uh, so to me, all through. Throughout the time that they released it, I never paid attention to any of them because I'm like, if that's what it's about, I don't care about it. Yeah. So they finally got me to play it after the GTA 6 trailer came out. Oh. And I said, you know what, y'all? I'll try it just for you. Sometimes I'll do okay. that for the I listen to the fans, but some just, you know, I do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. I don't just sell out just because I'm asked to do it. So I tried it, and I said, I can't believe how much fun I'm having. Just the first playthrough with Michael and Franklin and Lamar and I, I was just like this these are some real <laughs> you say it I can say it on this yeah, show yeah. some real niggas yeah. I was not, like I'm who? not monetized you can say whatever the fuck yeah. <laughs> I was like who did they get to write this and people were like no what it was was they had like white writers and the guys who did the voices like this is a known story they were like just let us say the lines yeah. the way we say them yeah 
And because I was like, this is authentic, yeah. the way these like, dudes are talking. When, like, the one that stands out to me is when Lamar and him were, were arguing. <laughs> and he gets just with that time? Yes, haircut. <laughs> yeah, like, like all that. Writers that's, didn't write that. Yeah, <laughs> that's, this is black men's stuff. We know guys like this. I may not be like them, but I understand through and through men like this. Yeah. So it's like it was authentic. Hell yeah. And it was fun. It was funny. Trevor, insane. <laughs> Like, Easily insane. Like, it's favorite. between him and Lamar. If Lamar, pro- Trevor probably is, but if Lamar had been in it more. Yeah. But I heard he got caught a case. Oh, that's why that he, makes sense. That's they why they write him out. Like, with him. Ooh, boy. <laughs> but I love it. So now, as long as they don't mess it up, and y'all know what I mean, with everything they're injecting in entertainment now, as long as they don't mess up six, six should be phenomenal. Well, I feel like I feel like if I know if I think I know what oh, you're you know at, where I'm going. If I think I know what you're saying, um, yeah, Grand Theft Auto is like the antithesis of that. Exactly, their whole thing is not that. It's a pun. They'll talk about it. Yeah, they, like, make they make fun of everything. They're a parody of yeah, everything, yeah. man. So as as long as they didn't get caught by that bug, this is going to be yeah. an insane hit. Yeah. So we'll I, I would say for me, Grant, the the. So far, my favorite storyline, I'm not going to say the best, but my favorite, and if you get a chance to go back and play it, uh, San Andreas. It's a little okay. It's a little clunky because it's, you know, from the PS3 mm-hmm. era, but they remastered, they redid it, and it's it's still fun. It's one of my yeah. favorite stories. I keep being asked to play 4 in San Andreas. Four's, Those are the next two. They, well, you have, people, do you have an Xbox? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have the Series X, yeah. Okay, so I, I think that they only, number four is weird. Because you can only play it on Xbox Live or Xbox Game Pass, okay. whatever their thing's called, or you can play it on PC. They don't have it anywhere else. It's weird. It's weird. But all the rest of them you can play on the PlayStation. Okay. But for some reason, four is elusive. I don't know what their problem is. They need to remaster that and put it. Four on. is fun. Yeah. Four is four is fun. Four, or four is, is more serious. Four is very dark. It's it sounds weird for me to say it's darker. Yeah, that's it's what all people dark. were telling me. Yeah. It's all very dark. Yeah. But like it's it's. Really dark. It's way more. It's not. I laughed a ton through five. Yeah. So yeah. it was. I mean, you could call it a dark comedy, depending on what decisions you make in the game. You <laughs> right. got what I'm saying? Right. Uh, but I saw it as more of a, a comedy, a, a gangster heist film co- that was comedic, a comedic gangster heist film. Yeah. It felt like I was yeah. playing. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So that's my GTA experience. Okay, All right. I, yeah. I, I was like, I, I knew I was like, I bet you Tyrone don't like yeah. that game. Yeah, but that, <laughs> you know, like even like guys like Tristan Tate and Andrew Tate were talking about it, like you know, degenerate, you want to run around shooting cops. That's not, and that's how I thought. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, a lot of people out there say, "Don't knock it till you try it." Mm-hmm. Depends. Mm-hmm. It depends. You know, you have to have an idea of what something is because there's a, few, a whole lot of things in life I don't need to try. To find out if I like it or not. Sure. I'm sure you could name a few. Meth. <laughs> I've seen the pictures yeah. of what that's done to people. Another, no need to try. Another dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, I, I just, you know. Right, right. You know, I always remember I saw a guy on Jenny Jones years ago. <laughs> I've told this story several times, right? So, you know, uh, I've seen that in movies where they've had a gay man say something like, don't knock it till you try it. Right. And it's like... This guy on Jenny Jones, he was gay, and he said the thought of being with a woman disgusts him. That's sure, how yeah. he knows he's gay. And I was like, okay, I guess that's, that, that's how it is for straight men. Straight yeah. men are like a hairy dude. We know how we smell. Even <laughs> a guy that smells good to us is not attractive right, to us. We We'd be like, you know, it's a good smell in cologne you got on. Let me, let me, let me, yeah. What's the name of that so I can wear it for the girls? Yeah. But we're not like, mm. you yeah. know, like a man's yeah. musk is no, nah. we want the feminine, flowery, <laughs> female, clean <laughs> smell that they have. <laughs> even, even, even sometimes, like, if you watch the porno, and it's like... The wrong angle? It's the wrong angle. You see a hard leg? I'm like... Yeah, man. it does not work. <laughs> man. <laughs> you just... Ah. Exactly. <laughs> you, yo, you, yo, you hit it on the nose, man. Yo, like, like or or like it's it, like he's he might be hitting it from the back, and you can see his whole butt and it's, hole. It's like, oh, I want to see that. Who asked for this angle? It like, does not work. <laughs> I don't. Women don't yeah, want to see this angle. Yeah, not men don't want to see this angle. Sex is doing? like food. Like you can describe some. 
a woman can tell you what she wants to do with you, or she can tell you the ingredients of what she's cooking next for you, and you know whether you're going to like it or not. You can right. figure it out. Right. Oh, beef with, oh, okay, with chop house seasoning with the peppercorn. Oh, yeah, I'm going to like that. Oh, what, was, what was it? You did this. What was that? The peppercorn. <laughs> you can crack peppercorn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But that was like, funny though. But like, nah. But like, it's funny. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how deep I want to go into this. But like, a lot of times, like, I, I have a just because of the nature of being in, around theater and comedy. Um, you know, we we my community is a lot of the outcasts and a lot of the weirdos. Mm-hmm. Like that. So you come across you come across some transgender motherfuckers mm-hmm. and a lot of gay people, and that's fine. That's great. But like, I, I, it was interesting to for me to learn how art like how out of style just straight dudes are. <laughs> oh yeah, know. it's fun. I yeah. didn't I, I didn't know how weird. I like I don't know. It's not like I say it. Like yeah. I, like I just you know it, yeah. I don't say like hey I'm James I'm heterosexual like I don't but you don't have to say that. I don't say yeah. it but it's but it's just like. Sometimes like I hear like because what you you know you know the big beard the white dude they hang around he's there transgender now so like okay. I had to kind of wrap my brain around that and like when he would say some stuff I would I would be like you know just because this my boy still mm-hmm. I would still crack jokes about it and it, it was just be like man it was just so interesting to learn that I was just like and now with like with Gen Z and stuff like that mm-hmm. like straight niggas are like. We're well, weirdos. Well, yeah, yeah. I watch plenty of guys talk about this stuff, and you know, like I've seen like Ben Shapiro or um, this is just another guy on the Daily Wire, but um, they, you know, they've talked about how this is the gayest generation <laughs> coming up. You know what I mean? And you know, it sounds funny to say that, but they're like, yo, like just like a lot of younger kids, like now, I don't know what they say. It's forty percent of the generation, like. Yeah. They identify with being either trans or you know mm-hmm. whatever LGBTQ plus or whatever, yeah. and uh, it's it's not what we grew up with. It's it's very it's interesting, and it's like yeah, uh, and you you know, you know my my uh, fan base you know talks about a lot you know in the comments about how like it's almost like they're singling out the um, the straight male mm-hmm. now in a way, and mm-hmm. they feel attacked and stuff you know. We don't have to get into all of it because you know I don't really want. You know, we yeah. can get into serious stuff, but it's just it's it, it's it's a it's a huge can of worms. It, it, it could go on for hours, and right. but that's what all this you know is over now. You know, and in, and in entertainment and everything, everything's got to be this or that. And by themselves, they aren't bad things. No, diversity's fine. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. LGBTQ's fine. It, it's not that. It's just that people don't want to be preached to in their video games and their movies and their television shows because it is their real life, but television and other media is an escape. They're mm-hmm. trying to get away from all the stuff and that they're hearing on the news. They just want to watch a fantasy show, you know, with some guys with some laser guns or whatever. That's it. Mm-hmm. it it's it's not, yes, and I'm black and I'm, it, it's, it's, Oh, okay. I mean, I guess it's the, I guess we it's get... the, I guess it's the difference between like the the less heavy handed way of like I think back in back when like the X Men first came about, mm-hmm. it was that was really like an is an allegory or whatever like it was supposed to be in relation to what was going on at the time with like Malcolm X and niggas, but it's, but it was like we're not we're we're showing it to you creatively, right? And if you're paying attention, you're like oh. These are well, related. there's going to be a ton of guys correcting you in the comments. I guess I don't I know. know. I'm like, I thought I don't it have was that many. Too. I don't have that many motherfuckers watching. So I've seen some comic experts come out, and they're like, "No, that it's a misconception that that's what it was." I thought motherfuckers. I don't know said what it shit. really was. I don't know what it really was. Okay. But the funny thing to me is that here, here's like me and you have both chosen careers in entertainment. Mm-hmm. Me acting first, then you know, growing up doing YouTube, and. You cannot get into entertainment without being around the LGBTQ community. Yeah. The LGBTQ community, as a matter of fact, has dominated entertainment for years. They've always been in it. Yeah. And entertainment. It's entertaining my yeah, <laughs> yes. They're funny. They're very talented and everything. And the whole thing is 
they've uh, um, and and entertainment has been diverse. Yeah, we've had several races and different cultures for a long time. Mm-hmm. But n- the weird thing is, people are like, why are you pushing diversity now? Because why are you because pu- capitalism? It, it, it's it's like we've always we've we haven't always, but. For as long as I've been alive, mm. even when I was born, media was still diverse. Yeah. So it's like, what's different now that it's now you have to preach to us in every single thing that we watch? And that's what's driving people yeah. nuts. I think, to, <laughs> you know? to me, I think it's just capitalism. I think yeah. it's... I don't know what it I, is. This is. I just think it is. Because yeah. it's like, I think I think they have... I can almost guarantee you they have people behind the scenes that are running numbers. And it's like, look... Well, you've heard of DEI and ESI scores. Yeah, yeah. You it's know, like it's like niggas. you have to have certain things gay in niggas, now. Gay niggas spend money. And there's, what is it, <laughs> Sweet Baby Inc. Mm-hmm. This place called Sweet Baby Inc. apparently writes all these scripts now or helps influence scripts for a bunch of media now. And then it's they're saying organic. this company, BlackRock, is pushing a lot of it too. So BlackRock, they're saying is about all of this. Mm -hmm. So BlackRock holds a bunch of stock and assets and a ton of companies, so they have a lot of push. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see a lot of companies doing it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm being told. I haven't done a ton of the footwork. I've seen some stuff. But but I'm just like, okay, but Mm -hmm. you're now, these companies are losing billions of dollars and millions of customers. And it's like, do you see something wrong Mm -hmm. here? Mm -hmm. Like I said, we've been diverse. We've had all these people in the entertainment forever. Why are you pushing it now? It's funny. I think, uh, and we're yeah. gonna take a quick, we're gonna take a quick reset. But like, I think it's funny when every once in a while when I come across like a, like a uh, a gay or trans stand up, and they'll just be they'll see some shit and they'll be like, man, that shit gay as hell, man. <laughs> like, oh, even, they will even say even that. They'll say like, this shit gay as fuck. I've man. had gay people write me. Yeah, <laughs> I've had gay uh, fans write me and say, yo, we're tired of being pandered to too. They call it gay baiting. Oh, they yeah. call it gay baiting. Gay baiting. It's, it's baiting. just like, yeah, and you yeah. know how this look. Yes, we know you're mixed. You're half black, half white. Yeah. But when you see, and I, and, and, yeah, you know, growing up as your cousin, I see that you identify, you tend to identify more with your black side. Mm-hmm. When you see a black person in something, do you all of a sudden say, hey, <laughs> they're black. I should watch this. Nah, I can't say that it, I have. You know, like I will, but I will. I will say, like if I see somebody who's like, if like I think that like it's a, it's kind of a joke now, but there's mm. a rapper named Logic, and he's mixed, but mm. he's also his whole thing is like that. It's throwing it in your face. That's uh, how he's doing. Uh, so okay. at first I was like, oh, okay, you don't right. see too many these motherfuckers Drake and that's it, and J Cole and that's it, and I was mm-hmm. like, oh, okay. I'll, and then you listen to it, you're just like, I, like it got me in the door, being like, oh, gotcha. you like me. Because you're mixed. I'll hear it. Yeah, okay, okay. I'll hear it. But like once you get in there, and it's like, oh, this is all you talk about? Yeah. Oh, well, like, like, it's your whole identity? Put it this way. Yeah. Black actors are so mainstream now mm-hmm. that you have to be black and good for me to be interested. And yeah, yeah. You yeah. can't just throw us into any role just because you want us to. To be in it for your diversity check mark, and I'm just supposed to be interested in it. It doesn't yeah. make sense. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of making you <laughs> seem like you're an idiot because, like, yeah. yeah, you just throw. Because you've met brothers that's like, they support anything black. Yeah. And uh, so and I, you know how it goes sometimes. Sometimes it, ain't sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Sometimes. And it's like, you just, just because the color? How about you find out the character? That is behind this color before you do business with him first. And look, sometimes <laughs> and sometimes I want to go. Sometimes I want to go to the Jamaican place. But if you're never going to have the <laughs> shit that I want, and you're going to treat me like an asshole, then maybe I don't want to go there Man. You know, I love my people to death, but I, I deal with it, all the good ones. That's who I deal with. They, they know I can't stand... Lateness and all the stereotypical stuff that we known for. Let's get our shit together and do La- it right. Loud. <laughs> so, Bob Holly. No, I'm just <laughs> um, <laughs> um, shit. Uh, we were earlier. We were talking. About, this is a funny story that I kind of wanted to share, and we could talk about some of the, like younger, younger Tyrone. But um. 
So yeah, like I, I'm still very much me and my. Uh, it feels weird to call it my ex girlfriend, but Alex, Alex is a character, running character on this. Oh okay. Program, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, like, but we we live together, like we're roommates. Like it right. just makes sense for us to be roommates. But we were together for so long. Her family is just like, oh, he's just like another child. Like they treat me like a son or whatever. And like her sister's like my sister, so it's just like okay, whatever. But it's where it gets funny. <laughs> It's maybe this is because of me because of, I I like to find things that are funny that could possibly hurt my feelings, <laughs> but <Okay>. uh, <laughs> but it doesn't. It, it honestly does. I can say that with a straight face that it doesn't. But I thought it was interesting that her her current boyfriend after me, he's the he's the complete opposite. He's like a fifty year old Jewish dude, right? Fifty. He's like wow. fifty five ish. Okay. I think he's like fifty four. Wow. Okay. But like, he's like. I don't know if you remember this cartoon called Chowder on Cartoon Network. I don't think I ever watched it. I heard of it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Created it. Wow. He wrote, okay. wrote and animated episodes of SpongeBob. His voice is on, like, he's done a lot. Like, there's a show called Yellowstone that came out not too long ago on one of the HBOs. Yes, he created familiar. it. Okay. Like, so he's, like, not doing the thing that I want to do with my, but he's adjacent to it. Yeah. So when I'm in California, he's such a nice guy. Like, I'm over his house, like, hanging out. How'd she like, snatch him up? I don't know. <laughs> but, like, like I'm over there, so I'm, like, in this motherfucker's house looking at, like, taking, yeah. taking a shit in his $5,000 toilet, Japanese That's crazy. Toilet. And I'm just like, I should be mad at this, but I'm too much of a comedian to just, I find uh, I, I see what you're saying. You like, find the is, humor. This it's, is it's ironic. Yeah. It's, it's very <laughs> funny. <laughs> Hopefully not tragically. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. No, no. But she was like, she was like, do you like him? I was like, he's a nice guy. I was like, but I will never officially uh, agree to this union until he finds me work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, day, the day he's like, hey, you want to do a... All right, then all right, we're cool. That's cool, I'm though. Like, You're rubbing shoulders I'm, with a dude that's done I'm, it. I'm an ordained minister. If he gets me work, I'll marry y'all. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. How'd you, how'd you get that? Just go to the Universal Life Church and you can $15, you can get ordained to marry people. Okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay. I married my my friend. That's the the, the two white friends that I used to live mm-hmm. with. I married them. I was batting a thousand, but they're getting divorced. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to I need to get my my numbers up. Get uh, you to marry me, so I can just make them laugh the whole time. <laughs> and just the ceremony is gonna go on forever. <laughs> I'd be like, you remember that time? <laughs> like, can we get on with the service? Um. I can't. I don't know. I can't. T- I can't picture myself getting married. I don't know. Uh, I it, still wonder about it. It yeah. seems so fine. I ain't gonna. Uh, you know. Oh, that's fine. Like, I can talk about it. It's just you know. It just. I don't know. It's like. Yeah. It's not. It's not one of those things where like it seems so final, but it's just like. I don't know. It's like a. It's a big choice. That yeah. It has a lot of ramifications yeah. that don't help me. Yeah, if things don't work out. That's all the whole red pills always talking about. You like, know? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, because I'm not a red pill dude. I think those guys are just virgins. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of them are. They're just mad. I, they I, never I, got I no think pussy, that but. the movement takes advantage of a lot of guys that have had a lot of bad luck with women. Sure. However, yeah, I've seen plenty of knowledgeable, good dudes in. Red pill. So it's not all bad, but it can be an extreme to the whole uh, females that hate men crowd, too. Yeah. It, 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 and, you know, the, everything's a woman's fault and this and that. Yeah. Sometimes it's your fault, Sometimes bro. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. If, if you Sometimes can't find a woman fault. and you're 35 and you ain't been on a date since you were 15, yeah. it's you. It's not the women. Right. Because let me tell you something, especially because my crowd – that's watching. A lot of you are nerds and geeks. If you don't think you can get a girlfriend or a boyfriend, right. go to Comic Con that's closest to you Ooh. on Saturday. <laughs> the busiest day. Yeah, that's when the hoes come out. The Wait till hoes. you see all the couples, though. Mm-hmm. The, there was a comedian who made a joke. He was like, you ever see some somebody walking down the street, they're pregnant, and you're like, you've had sex? <laughs> right. You will see couples together where you don't want to even picture the sex, mm-hmm. but they're together. But they have. They found someone to love. Mm-hmm. They they got some common commonalities. Everything you can find somebody, but you gotta get this together. Trust me. I grew up together. awkward, and I know that it was me 
It was how I was raised, though. And it was me. It was being sheltered. I didn't get a chance to truly, um, I guess you could say I wasn't socialized properly. Once I got out into the world and was socialized properly, now I'm just a regular guy like anybody else. You go to my channel, I sound crazy. But when you have a conversation with me, I'm a regular guy like anybody else. But I wasn't always like that. If you're the person that people are looking at, like, when you say something, the D, some of them bump the DJ booth. When you say something at the party and everybody gets quiet, trust me, it's you. It's, it's you. not them. It's you. You might be autistic. You know what I mean? Like, that's okay, too. Yeah. They got to go to, also go to Comic-Con on Saturday. That's when the autistic hoes come out. And they're, in, they're in cosplay. Some of them, yeah, some of them in cosplay. I mean, some of the most gorgeous women out there are dorks. geeks, dorks, Completely nerds. Dorks. Just, Man. You know? So there's, there's a... There's a spot for everybody. Yep. I don't. I don't think I. Like I didn't. I didn't. When I was younger, I didn't see you as a as a nerd or a geek. But I guess because I'm. But you were shel and you were sheltered yeah. too. And yeah. it was before he, before he broke out, before he woke up. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we we both grew up in the same religion, yeah, strict, yeah. Yeah. and more, I'd say more so me. Maybe in certain ways. I said, well, maybe, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know yeah, all maybe know. all the ways, but yes, style, yeah. style, so. both of our moms really close, and they're both very strict. Yeah. And man, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> what you I, said. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I, didn't, I just didn't. I guess maybe because you know you're older. I always thought you know my older cousins were always cooler anyway because of your older. Cousins. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't have like you know. Brothers, yeah, my so brothers. Like, yeah, it was just like a thing. So I didn't really know. I just, I just knew. Uh, I just knew my mom when we would come over. Um, she, she would always come over. She would, we would always come over early, but she, we would always l usually leave before nighttime. Okay, and, and I was make like, sure I, you got to bed. Like I, I don't know. I think she had this. I think I didn't. Was Beverly that bad? No. I th no, but I think it had this. Not. I had this. I had the. I think in some people's yeah. heads, yeah. it had a stigma of yeah. like, oh, when the lights come out, it's gonna be. Yeah, like if it was, it was like, so. Yeah, if it was something like, I know how your mom is. She, maybe, maybe she she may have thought like that. I think yeah. I think I, I I think maybe she might have just because yeah. I was in the car with her after like. Probably wasn't like that. Yeah, I didn't think it was. It wasn't Camden. No. 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 <laughs> no, even some parts of Camden ain't that, you know. Yeah, not even some parts of Camden. You just gotta, that. you know, you gotta be yeah. looking for it, like honestly. Like, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. A lot of you just gotta be looking for problems. Yeah, no one's gonna bother. I've you. been in the worst part. I used to, I used to talk to this Puerto Rican girl. I didn't even know I was in Camden, like, the hard. I didn't even know where or what. I knew I was in Camden, but okay. I didn't know where because I'm not from there, so I didn't know what parts were what and I remember years later I was I had been out of college and I was talking to <laughs> Tion. Okay. My cousin Tion who, you know <laughs> it's a wild boy. Yeah. Um and I remember I was just anecdotally telling him about the time when uh she snuck me into her house and this is stupid. Mm -hmm. Right? She stuck me in her snuck me in her house and like she was trying to sneak me out and I had a run in with her older brother who happened to be wearing one of those what was he a yellow flag whatever that whatever gang that is oh flag okay Kings maybe uh, yeah 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 and he didn't pull a gun on me but he showed that motherfucker wow and she never saw me again after that that was the first and last time she saw me uh wow but i just remember i could i i tell that story <clears throat> funny even though it's not funny. yeah that's and a I, serious running and yeah and i was telling that to 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 our cousin <laughs> And he was like, you remember his name? And I was like, oh, wow. hey, man. I don't, and, <laughs> yeah, don't. He was like, no, nah, because I'm saying I probably yeah, had a couple runners. Because I know our cousins know some people, too. He was too. like, I probably had a couple runners with that. I probably know this motherfucker. He put a gun on my cousin. What the fuck was his name? I was like, this was like, <laughs> I was 18, man. I'm, I'm 20 now, did he did he say something to you when he pulled it? When I don't remember. I, he was, okay. I remember he was arguing with her about the oh, about this nigga you. been in the house. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hey, guys, I'm, right. I'm, I'll am I'm leave. Right. I don't have to. Right. I'm going to, if I right. could just go. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm yeah. not tough. Yeah. Like, yeah. I am, I just yeah. look, I just look this way. You wanted some <laughs> bad because there's no way I would have snuck in a chick's house. Well, I just had no, I had no context. I was yeah. just like, I was You had walk. that young mind. Yeah. I was just like, I don't know. She said nobody was in that. And then like, you know, I didn't also know that he was like, what street was it? That's what he, he was mm -hmm. like, what street was it? And I told him what street was it. And it was a street over 
from where they grew up. They grew okay. up on Dayton. No, they oh, grew he up might on, have known. He might have known. They grew him, up man. on Dayton. I was on Decatur. It was, okay. it was the street yeah. next to it. So he probably knew him. He might have known him, man. And he was like, if you remember his name. Yeah. I was like, I'm not, I don't remember. Yeah. I didn't ask him. <laughs> Tiani had a gun in Did his Did you pants. know she was sneaking you in? Yes. Oh, you did know that. I know, okay. I know. Okay. I know, okay. but I didn't, I didn't, the way it was framed was like, you know, yeah. you good. Like, yeah. mom's at work. Little, 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 I didn't even know she had an older brother. Wow! Little, little, she was like, I, I put all my, that from you. <laughs> yeah, she was like, she was like, I got a little brother and a little sister. I put them to bed. My mom works nights. You're good. I was like, oh okay. And I remember while I was diddy bopping through that neighborhood, nine o'clock at the dark, like doop a doop a doop, mm. and like no one bothered me <laughs> because you look like if you look like you belong there, you don't look like a victim. Yeah. No, usually they're not gonna. Usually, I'm right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like you know, just, you know, that that and yeah. uh, all that stuff, yeah. and then after the thing's done, you know, surprise. There's a Latin surprise, king in the surprise. house. <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> there's, a, there's a yellow flag Puerto Rican with long hair. Yo. And then I was like, ooh, hey, I have a future. Can I go? Yeah, <laughs> you want to have a future. <laughs> Can I? I am on the honor roll, Yo. man. Can I just leave? <laughs> I lived on Vitamin Avenue, which was a new development. And uh, I lived with my boy after my mom passed away. And... Uh, Vitamin? Vitamin. Oh, B E I D E M A N or something like that. And <clears throat> I was telling a girl from Camden, that's where I live. She was like, oh, you're over in Iraq. I know where that is. <laughs> you're like, Iraq? I me. was like, is that bad over there? <laughs> I'm like, I never heard gunshots at night. But, and she grew up Camden, so yeah. she, she knew. But Yeah, it's rough. Yeah. I mean, one, one, of our, one of our family members had a rough go at it recently. Because of that area, remember? I got, 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 got. Remember? No. Huh? Who? No, I mean little little uh, Troy's boy. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I about that, I yeah. About he that. got sprayed up. Hey, you know like, the way Errol was, you know. He, my yeah. uncle called. He made it sound like he was gone. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, he could have been like yeah. he was. He yeah, was in a bad way. way. Sound though. Yeah, he was in a bad way. But yeah. I mean, I think he's okay now. I think he's back to walk. I don't know if they still live in Camden, but yeah. I don't know. I hey, yo, not. kids, stop trying to be cool. Stop trying to be tough. Trust it's, me. It's stop stupid. trying to impress your friends and all that stuff. They're going to lead you nowhere. It's, Unless your friends are successful, good people of yeah. society, yeah. stop trying to impress them. Trust yeah. me. It, it don't you, go nowhere. You're not going to luck out and one of your friends be Chief Keef <laughs> yeah. or, you know, Playboy Cardi, whoever these most. Matter of fact, here's the thing, too. I don't know who's the, you know, and you got more people who watch you. Than me, but I remember I, I I was doing comedy with this with this kid who uh, white kid who went to uh, USC University of uh, Southern California, mm. and he uh, was his roommate. I may be misremembering like the the actual relationship, but that his roommate or one of his friends, he said, "Oh, my uh, little cousin is coming to stay with us for a while while he's you know out here trying to figure it out." And, Turns out his little cousin at the time was an unfamous Travis Scott, the rapper. Oh, okay. And, you know, Travis, the Travis Scott we know now is, you know, you know whatever he character he's portraying in. But he, my friend, my, my comedian buddy, remembers him as the guy who was scared to go into, like, not even a bad neighborhood, but it was kind of just, like, adjacent to a bad neighborhood mm -hmm. because USC is kind of by the hood. And they had just going to get some weed. And he was, <laughs> he just remembers him being so scared. Yeah. And he was like, I'm white and I'm not, like, relax, right, like, stop right. being so scary, right? Like, right, right, yeah, yeah. And, and he said, years later, this guy's, you know, rapping Yeah, with, it's just funny. Rapping tough you, guy you, shit. Uh, yeah, you act scary <laughs> and they'll jump on you. But, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of guys that are, you know, rapping about stuff and it's just a performance. Yeah. A lot of them ain't real. Future, but. future used to rap, future raps about doing lean and uh, doing all these drugs. And he's like an organic vegan. Like, he doesn't do any of this shit. Like, <laughs> You know how many kids you got hooked on, hooked on Work freaking your dope. gimmick. Work your gimmick. <laughs> freaking, you know what I mean? Working that gimmick, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, it's crazy when I hear about, you know, some of the, you know, uh, just the stories that come out of Hollywood. And, you know, like some of the people are really what they talk about or write about or rap about or whatever it is. But it, it, I don't know, man. It's like, I, I feel like if I ever do make it mainstream, I'm going to be in the house a lot. It's just going to be me. Living my life, because yeah. these too many too many of these things happen at these parties or these clubs that everybody's at, yeah. where is 
known to be people that got their gun on them yeah. <laughs> at all times. Yeah. And I you thought it was co- kosher to go to this party. Okay. I don't need well, nobody you go to that party then. I don't need it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't need it. <laughs> don't People was going, like, oh, well, such and such going to be there. Maybe I can meet him, rub shoulders, and we can. Okay, cool. I'll meet him a different way because I don't need to. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> I'm not that dude, man. You know what? You know what's funny, though? It's like, it's funny, though, years <laughs> later, you see all those, like, like with Cat Williams thing that I'm sure you've seen clips at least or not. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but it's just, it's just funny. Um, why don't you hear about all the kind of weird shit and goofy shit that goes on? Yeah. And it's like, I don't like, <laughs> I don't need none of it. I don't need none of it. I, like, I don't need my name on no list. At, at yeah. Like, <laughs> That's why they call it Holly weird, man. You know, like I've met some really good people out there with the times that I've gone, man. But you know, um, you know, and I, Hey, I, I had my first Hollywood backstab. Ooh. You know, yeah, yeah. I had my first Hollywood backstab. I was one of the first people that I met out there. Mm. You know, friends with him. And uh, they turned on me with this whole gender stuff. Yeah. So uh, it is what it is. And Do now I know. I know. Uh, you, I don't, you may know or may have seen. I'm not going to say No, don't names, say the name. Yeah, you know, you. Is it, is it somebody you worked with? Like, like. You, you, I'll tell you off camera. Okay, I'll okay. Tell you I think camera. I know who it might be. But though. but it was one of the first people that I met out in you know, you know, that way. And, uh, you know, it was just one of those things where uh, I guess they picked a side and decided to voice it. Mm-hmm. You know, like it, when you're a friend, a phone call would suffice. You know what I mean? Like, hey, man, well, you know what I mean? But that's not what happened. And I was just like, oh, okay, well. Thanks for letting me know. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I immediately cut it right there. And it was just like, you know, they tell you to watch out for stuff like that. You know, like a lot of people, they're only your friend because they are tr- they want something out of you. Either they want to work with you, they want to maybe use your notoriety to bring them up or whatever it is, or maybe even use your connections. But once they have it, you know, so, I, you know, I re- I ran into it already. So it is what it is. There was another one too. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure on this one yet. But I noticed, I guess maybe a funny little bit of distancing and funny acting maybe at mm-hmm. one point. I'm not sure though. Because I don't talk to them that much. You know, so. But, Hey, you know, my uh, I cut my teeth on it now, so I got my first Hollywood backstab. You know right. what I mean? So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. It's part of this part okay, of it. Okay, so now I'm ready for, you know, the big leagues. That's you know? like the good part of the club entrance fee. Like, you <laughs> yeah, know, like, because let me tell you something. other parts of it just like, I, I was wanna. always <laughs> like, man, I'm always hearing about the soullessness and people using you and the backstabbing. And I haven't run into it. I've run into so many good people. Yeah. It is <laughs> yeah. It is weird when you run into it. I've, like, I, I, ran into it just once and it was not even it's nowhere even close to Hollywood it's just local shit and we oh locally too yeah in entertainment we've since since, everyone's since squashed the beef but it's just kind of like when it happens you're just like huh yeah that's odd yeah I mean it's it's cool that like you do what you do but if me and you don't really vibe like that Mm -hmm. you know I can get on or move forward with a different group of people yeah. I think some people just they kind of I don't know man they they use to. you for any little thing they can get yeah like I teach here or I do this like you 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 do you stand up you do got the podcast so they might try to get in with you for any amount of exposure or help to their career but they don't really care about their relationship with you mm-hmm. you know what I mean and I think that's the soulless part but karma's a bitch yeah and it's real and you don't always get it back to for what. You did to somebody else. You might be something else in your life that goes wrong. That's that's one thing that I've that I've learned recently is karma. Like you don't worry about it. Karma <laughs> It'll work will, itself not, out. You might not get a chance to see it. You might see it. Yeah. But like, don't like. Hey, you no, know, no. I brought this on. And I'm. I did laugh at this, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> but it was like, and I don't want to say this. Like it's like, don't fuck with me. You know what I mean? Or else, uh-huh. you know. But like, it's just a karma. Thing. Like. It can mm-hmm. hit anybody. So just try to be the best you can to anybody. But, like, I remember there was a, uh, 
there was an old boss that I had. He was like real fake. He was like, a, you could have easily been on my 600-pound life. Mm-hmm. He was a piece of garbage. Um, like, this motherfucker was a trash human being. And I remember, like, when they, they, un, when they unjustly fired me, um, you know, I moved on. I was like, whatever. But I was real fucked up. And I was real fucked up about it because it was the first time it happened. And, you know, I moved on, never thought about it. And then this, like, one day I was just thinking. And I was like, I wonder if, I, like, I wonder if that guy's still alive. Because he was mm. 600 pounds then. Like, he was so big. Like, this is how, like, listen, I'm not fucking mm-hmm. Bob Holly. I'm not, I'm not in shape. But, like, I would watch him. Like, they hired me at that job because, like, he couldn't physically get there at 7 in the morning. Wow. He couldn't get there until, like, mid middle of the day. And, like, it didn't really register with me until I saw it in action. Because, like, you see a fat person and you're like, whatever. But, like, you see somebody that big and then you see how they got fat. Like, you get a yeah. peek into how they got there. Yeah. So, like, he would show up. Like, he would, he would, he would. I saw him pull in a couple times. Like, uh, from, like, it was on the second floor and I would watch in the parking lot sometimes. And he would come in around, like, noon or one o'clock and he would, like, throw away. He'd be throwing away a Wendy's bag. So, yeah. that means he already had a burger. I'm assuming. I'm a, let's right. Just, best he had case eight scenario. Sandwich. Let's assume he had something. Let's just say it's one burger. Best case scenario. Because he had one a whole meal, right? He comes in, he throws that away before he gets in there because I guess it's sneaking, right? He does, you know, if he throws it away before he gets in the and the work it doesn't count. I know how the fat man brain works. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he gets in and then he unpacks his work bag and then he has his 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 coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, but then he also has a breakfast sandwich. From Dunkin' Donuts. So he's pretending like he's eating for the first time. Uh, And I was like, oh, if you're going through all of this for this little interaction that no one cares about or knows about, wow. Like, you're probably, you probably, and I looked it up. I looked it up. I was like, dun, dun, dun. First thing, it was like obituary. I was like, oh, shit. And I was like, maybe it's because, you know, people be having the same names. I looked it up. I was like, nope, that's where, I remember that's where he's from. That's where he, yeah. oh, oh, that is him. Oh, shit. And then yeah. it was like he used to work. And it was just like, I just remember thinking like, damn, I don't know if that was karma or not, but I'm sure if he fucked me over, I'm not the first. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. You know, karma works on your, your energy. So if you're a negative person, you're always hurting other people. Plus, he's not treating his own body well. You know, that's a full life karma that can just come and get you, man. You <laughs> it happened again with another motherfucker. Don't if you work with me, just be nice to me because they don't have a yeah. good track record if they fuck if they fuck me over. I always try to treat people well. I never backstab people. No. Never. It's not worth it. I never Even if do you stuff want to, like it's not that, worth man. It. Yo. Like, just don't do it. Yo, and like I remember doing a couple of things when I was younger that was a little shady, like when I was in my twenties, you know, and. I've never done anything like that again in my life. You know what I mean? So it's just, <laughs> you know. Yeah, just don't just do not do it. Yeah. Don't do it, guys. It's Yeah, because some people think that they're going to get away with it, and then they'll just, they'll just be good later. I'll be a good person later after I get, get this off. <laughs> Car- karma will get you while you're trying to be good. Yeah. You know what I mean? I had and, to wonder <laughs> sometimes when something bad happened, like when something bad happened to me, like somebody – treated me weird or bad and it, like it devastated me. I had to think like, hold on, did I? Did this, you do something? Yeah. Did I do yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe not. But like, yeah, I was like, yeah. damn. I was like, I, I mean, you if can, you're right with yourself, you usually know whether you did or right. didn't. Sometimes you just had a bad run in with somebody. Yeah. Somebody who's just know, a villain. And, yeah. Somebody who's just a know. true joke. Like they're just full on joker. Just like yeah. I'm just gonna blow this hospital building up for no reason, yeah. and you happen to be the hospital building. <laughs> <laughs> they said Freud, uh, Sigmund Freud, used to say, you know, as far as like the meaning of certain things happening in dreams and all this other stuff. So he said sometimes cigar is just a cigar. Sometimes yeah. he just, you know, yeah. you, maybe you didn't do nothing wrong. They were having a bad day. It's all on how you filter it now and how you move forward with your life right. it could have been a learning experience for you you may not know what it was but you know <laughs> so do you feel do you feel like you could eventually um go full hollywood if like the opportunity presented itself? here's the thing as long as uh they're still making entertainment the way they are now i could never see it happening uh 
because um, I would be forced into making entertainment that I don't want to make. Um, I think that uh, I think that there's a lot of directors and actors and other people out there that are making movies and shows that they, they don't want to make. There's writers writing movies and shows they don't want to because of this whole th- machine that's moving in this particular direction right now. Um, but um, I'd definitely be down as long as I'm able to dictate what I do. I don't want to be... Because think about when I... You know, I'm a big Marvel fan, and it's like now they're going in this particular direction with all this stuff that people don't like. If you sign that contract and you're stuck for, say, six or seven movies, I might have made four. I got three left. Yeah. Now I have to betray the fans <laughs> and myself or they'll sue me into oblivion and I can't take care of my family no more type of stuff, you know? Yeah. So I would have to have control over certain things yeah. or I'll just be independent the rest of my life. Just sure. do small independent films like I've already done. And that's fine as long as I don't betray myself or my fans. Mm. Okay. So. Okay. Can I, I, I saw um, one of your movies. <laughs> but it, I, well, maybe it was it was a movie you were in. I wouldn't say you were. Like, I saw a clip, the, the fighting one when I was fighting. It was it was a it was a it was a white dude. It was in a house that looked like it was like they used it for porn at some kind of tore up. Yeah, kind of a was, mansion, but tore and up. He was yeah. just fighting motherfuckers. All yeah, the time. yeah, 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 yeah. I saw yeah, that like, movie. That was the most fun. You looked like you were having fun, bruh. You were the- <laughs> I got there like I don't know, like eight or nine in the morning, and I didn't leave until like twelve that night. But we were choreographing that fight. It was a choreographer that looks and sounds like Van Damme. <laughs> he actually has choreographed. Oh, he was the he was the last guy. Okay, okay. He was the last guy that he fought in the movie, and he he would choreograph everything on the spot. Mm. We went, th- but I'm just telling you, we just having talking to everybody, and the fun we had, and just it was the most physical, mm. n- like sweating, tired, exhausting thing I've ever done. But I, I when I did that, I was like, this is for me. Yeah, yeah. I want to make movies, man. It was so much fun, and I think out of the movies that people have seen, that's like their favorite one. Yeah, there, I, I would, no. I would say that of that, that I don't know the rest of your classmates, yeah. but I would say there was some, there was some goofy parts in that movie that made me laugh. Yeah. Oh yeah, but I mean, you, but it, I it's say, a small budget movie, so there's gonna uh, be some hokey <laughs> stuff that. But yeah, you know, and, I'm not, and, I'm and not, I know that. Okay. I know that. But I, but yeah. I, but I'm not. And I'm not saying this because you're my cousin. I'm not saying this because you're on the show. You were the best part of that movie. People, like, a lot of people said I was the best. Fight. Yeah, people were, liked like, me. They said I was the best. Fight. I was like, I was like, yeah. I was like, I was happy. I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm happy. My cousin looks like he's having like. Yeah, let me tell you, I love that <laughs> cast and crew of people, man. Like it's so, you know, it's kind of funny how a role can make or break you. Mm-hmm. And a role, depending on how the director cuts it, how the director, editor cuts it, how he shoots you, mm-hmm. it is so much. You could be the best actor in the world, and you can be made to look like a fool. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's, it's just so interesting once you really get into movie making, and you get to meet the cast and crew. And sometimes you'll see like a major star in an uh, interview, and you'll hear them talk about the cast and crew, and they'll talk about somebody who's really funny, but you usually think of them as being so funny, and you're like, eh, we don't really care about this other guy. Right. You have no idea. The guy he is talking about is a comic genius, but you never get to see it because that guy might have got that three-second part where he's dropped off the food at the house, and that was it. And I learned that working with different people, and I think I was miscast in this one film. I don't want to say which one, but I was. I feel I was miscast, and I should have been this other character. Can I guess? No, okay. no I don't want you. To, I, don't, I don't want to put any. Can I guess off bad camera, energy? You... Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and what's funny is two directors mm-hmm. called me because of that role that I played. Mm-hmm. And I said, listen, out of all the roles I played, I feel like that's the weakest. I feel I was miscast. And they were both like, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. But as a director, the other things we're looking at Mm 
with how you are playing that role. And while you thought you might not be good at it, we saw through it. We understand why you were chosen for that. I was like, okay, I get it. It's still not the role. That, <laughs> and, and, man, God bless his soul, R.L. Scott is a director. Um, I think he did a few movies. One was I Am King. Another one was, uh, oh, I can't. We'll talk about it off I, once I figure it out. The dude's good. And he did um, some, I guess you could say mid-level maybe budget. They, lower but higher than what I've done. And, man, his martial arts in there, he had me picked to be the big bad okay. for this one. It was incredible. And in all my anime fans out there, he did, it's funny. When I was talking to him, he didn't get it because he hadn't seen it. But similar to how Bison M. Bison was in the Street Fighter 2 animated movie that he talked about earlier with me. It's a guy that's an exceptional fighter, but he's looking at these two brothers that are also exceptional, wondering what it is that they got that he doesn't. I can't tell you his script because he's passed away and I'm going to you know, keep it that way. But, man, he had some plans for that, but he passed away. He had some digestive yeah. he had disease that, you know, killed him. But, it, man, let me tell you something. I was ready for that role. And he called me on the movie that I didn't think I really did well. So I'll mm. tell you what, there's, there's one. <laughs> there were two times <laughs> when you were uh, like, oh, I'm doing this thing. Um, and, and you were like, hey, do you want to be in it or something? Like, mm-hmm. wanna, and I don't know if this is one of the things you're talking about, so I won't say what it was, but it was for like a, it was for like a show, like a pilot show for some. Oh, no, I don't think that that was it. Uh, that you was, mean London? Yeah, but that was one of them. Okay, London. And it was, for like a, it was for like a role where I had to be like a bum or something like that, or like a crackhead or something. That might, and I no, I remember because I because I sent them all the stuff that they needed, yeah, and like I didn't get, I didn't get back, and I was like, dang, I was like, can't even be a bum. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what's funny? I don't even know if I told them that you were my cousin. No, oh, okay, because that stuff happens. You know, yeah, I, Hollywood I, is just like anywhere else. <laughs> family helps family stuff, but I don't think um, he wanted my help. At the time, I don't think yeah, it was like the, yeah, it was kind of like let me just let you me know just put you. I'm telling you yeah. about the part. Just let's see what yeah. happens. But um, there was another one. <laughs> there was another one. Finish, or did you finish? No, no, go ahead because I lost my train of thought. There was a there was. <laughs> this was for. I don't think either one of us got like it okay, better, but it was like for, it was for some reality show. Really, it was for a reality show, and it was like a. a, a, a I think it was like a, a. It was like either a makeover reality show or like a. Like a from like, you know, you know, like where there's somebody who has somebody who doesn't have it all together and they bring them on a reality show to like make them over to. And I don't I, I'm going to assume that I was the makeover case. I'm just going to assume uh-huh. because like, let's be that you're more we, well. We together. both we both applied for this. No, you told me about it. OK. And like we were going to do it together or something like that. Hmm. And like you probably have so many. Yeah, around yeah. Because right? back in the day, I used to apply for a lot of reality yeah. based shows from this one website. So it. I and I remember I got I, on a Skype yes. call with the lady. I got on a Skype call with like the producer. Lady. Oh, okay. And it was like, and she was telling me she was she was like it was gonna be like a makeover show, and I, I and I was just you know me I'm I cracked wide. Why don't I remember this? I don't know, but I. I, I <laughs> You know, I'm cracking jokes. This is pissing being, me off. I'm mad that being, I don't remember this. And I was just like, I was gonna. I, I was just making a lot of jokes because I know how. I know you. You present like I present myself better now because I'm on camera and I have to be on stage. <laughs> but there was an era where I was literally just grizzly, raw, uncut. Yeah, like I was literally just bearded, just unga bunga, like just. <sighs> yeah, he was like strong, full smelling salt. Just like, uh, like it was, there was a period where I was like, yeah. I remember making the joke like I, I was like I, I'm probably the one that's gonna get the makeover, right? And I was like, you know, buying into it and stuff uh-huh. like that. And I, I it turns out neither one of us got it, right? And I, I thought the same thing. I was like, damn, I, I'm too, what Bruh, am I too you ugly got, for a You makeover? got to the Skype call because I don't remember doing a Skype call with anybody about something like that. 
So you got further than me. That's true. But at the time, I was like, I just thought it was funny. I was like, damn. I guess I was, I was too busted for the makeover show. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> they they look for different. That's the funny thing. They look for different right. stuff. But this was before com. This was before comedy. Before so I, you started my, doing my skin was still tough, but okay. it wasn't tough like this. Now I could take a rejection, and it's like whatever the fuck. I I could move on. I got a show yeah. later. Whatever. Like, Another thing I noticed too when you're making movies is you know as a, as an actor what you can do, what you can't do, whatever. And you know that when you take certain takes, you know where you killed it, where you did something. And, and you will do it, and you the movie will come out, and they didn't use your best take. And you're man, like, what the fuck are you thinking? And that's the take <laughs> someone's going to be like, man, this dude can't act. Right. Bruh, I can't believe they used that take. <laughs> you know, all your favorite voiceover artists and all your favorite actors, they mess up and they do stuff, and it's like... There's a there's a trailer for Indiana Jones, right? The crit in the Crystal Skulls. Okay. In the Crystal Skull. And he goes in the in the in the trailer, he goes his son says to him, "You're a you're a, you're a college professor?" And he goes, "Part-time." And no no he goes, "Part-time." And and in the movie, they have him go Part time, which doesn't sound right. Part time <laughs> sounds better, but they use the part time, <laughs> and it's actually in a red letter media review <laughs> where he's like, "You like you." He doesn't say it, but it's like Harrison Ford can act. So when the part comes up, he says, "Why did they use that take?" He even had a better take in the trailer, and he plays it back and forth. Part time, part time, part time, part time, part time, part time, and it's like they the editing can make you look like a fucking idiot. So it's like you got to trust your crew too to make you look right as an actor. <laughs> part time, <laughs> part time. Like I always think about, I'm like, you gotta say it right. Part time, part time. <laughs> <laughs> That's clearly what I'm naming this episode. Part time. Part time. Part time. <laughs> I'm going to find it and send it to you, man. And when you see it, you're be like, yo, like this is a multi million dollar movie. And they picked the part time. Part time. Part time. <laughs> That's oh stupid. God, man! That's and like, stupid. it's it. I don't know. It's I just I, I really like acting. I like the whole thing. The whole crew's fun. You know, you have the different cameramen and the assistants are running around. It's, yeah. it's it's just it's fun. It's like a month long family or whatever. You know? like, <coughs> yeah, yeah, whatever it's gonna best be. Case scenario, you know, you like everybody and things go well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey man, <laughs> this was uh. This was this was good. This was fun. I want to do it again. This was yeah, yeah. Was cool. Yeah, How we'll was your first it, yeah. podcast experience? It was good. Hey, it was good. Hey, <laughs> you know, I'll, you, I, I'll have Especially you. Especially when you do it with family. You know, I know the guy, so you yeah. know. And, you know, it doesn't help that I know how to run a shop. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I have you know. We'll do this again. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll do it at your house or something like that, or somewhere. You know, somewhere. I'll come out here again. Now I know how to get here. Yeah, right. I got lost several times because yeah. of the GPS. <laughs> still I'm like still and GPS like doesn't really tell me which turn to make two streets that are right. like this which one is it <laughs> the blue line makes it look like it's either street <laughs> you gotta figure it out then it's like ah, recalculating here we go look, we got AI like I'm using AI to write my cover letters for work interviews now but the yeah. GPS still can't fucking get you to the right you know what I mean this shit stinks <laughs> <laughs> Skynet it stinks. Uh, <laughs> this shit's terrible. Uh, <laughs> you got anything you want to? I mean, you got. I don't know if you want to promote anything on my 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 platform. Uh, but you know, well, y'all you know, to. come check me out on Tyro <laughs> Magnus on my channel. You know, I do movie reviews, reactions, unboxing. I do gaming. I talk about news and movie news. You know, all type of stuff. So come over there, and if you want to watch my full movie reviews, television. Uh, uh, reactions, full movie reactions, come on over to uh, my Patreon. And I have uncut reactions over there, too, with uh, certain videos that you can't put on YouTube. So, yeah. yeah. Patreon is also where I talk about the vaccine. 
<laughs> I'm fucking around. <laughs> Can't talk uh, about it on here. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking around. Um, yeah, same goes for me. Patreon.com <laughs> slash Critical James Theory. Uh, help. <laughs> uh, all right. Hey, man, I appreciate you coming on. I'm going to, uh, you know how you have, you know, your uh, 1 million subscribers, or what is it now? 10 million? Yeah, that's my 10 million 10, slogan. 10 million subscribers, woo. Yeah. Uh, my the ending, like, there's a guy that's walking past this uh, door. Uh, <laughs> they're doing, they're probably doing some fucking lab testing on, like, non primate. It looks like he'll shoot up the whole place. You know what still. I'm saying? He probably got Watch it on it. him. He probably got it on him right now. Good thing this place is soundproof. Uh, well, you, my, my, uh, my version of 10 million subscribers is how I end my show all the time, and it's bye, niggas. <laughs> Well, just sound luck, hit the critical James Theory. Hit the critical James Theory, yeah. Just sound luck, hit the critical James Theory, yeah. Hit the critical James Theory, yo. Just sound luck, hit the critical James Theory, yo.